Dr. Mindy here, and on this video, we're gonna solve in the most simplistic way I can your slow metabolism issue. And there's so much misinformation about metabolism and what it is and how to speed it up and how do you make sure it doesn't slow down. So I really wanted to create a video for you all that just put it in the most simplistic terms possible. So let's start with this idea. When we're looking at speeding up our metabolism, what we're really saying is we need to be able to use food to our metabolic advantage and we need to use periods of no food to our metabolic advantage. We call this metabolic switching. So in your mind right now, what I'm hoping you'll do is stop thinking about speed up, slow down and reframe that word to switching. How do I switch in and out of being a good sugar burner and a good fat burner? Because that is the key to being able to lose weight. Now, when we look at what makes a good sugar burner, there are some very specific things, and I will go through them in detail, but the way you eat will determine how quickly your blood sugar goes up and your blood sugar goes down. If you're eating the wrong foods, your blood sugar could spike and it could take hours for it to go down. And if it takes a long time for that blood sugar to come down, then your body's gonna store that extra sugar as fat. So the first step to being able to fix your metabolism is fixing the sugar burner part of your metabolic system. And I'll show you how to do that in a moment. But there's more to that equation. The second part of the equation is how do you become a really good fat burner? And the, here's the part that's crazy. You cannot become a good fat burner by eating food in, in any way, shape, or form. I know some of the healthiest people that eat so much great food that still hold on to weight. And a lot of times that's because they're only working within the sugar burner system and they need to know how to work in the fat burner system. The fat burner system responds to two things. It responds to fasting and it responds to exercise. And the reason it responds to those two things is because fasting and exercise is when we go after the sh stored sugar that the body wasn't able to process. So we go after that when we fast and when we exercise. And then the, once you get those principles, the name of the game is how do you switch in and out? How do I become a great sugar burner, eat food, make my blood sugar come down quickly, and then when it comes down quickly, that signals the body to go into fat burner mode. It's literally that simple. So if we are gonna take that approach, there's basically four basic principles to making sure that this system works for you. First principle, you gotta stop the insulin stimulating foods. And these are not all obvious. The first and the worst insulin st stimulating food is the bad harmful oils. So if you wanna lose weight, today is the day that you get off the canola oils, the cottonseed oils, the corn oils, the soybean, the partially hydrogenated oils. Those oils are keeping your sugar burner system very, very sluggish and making it hard for you to get into fat burner. Second, those refined carbohydrates. So this is where you are raising your blood sugar very high by eating the cakes, the cookies, the pastas, the, the the crackers, the breads, all of those simple carbohydrates that don't have fiber in them, they spike your blood sugar and they can make it very difficult for your body to process that influx of sugar. And so your intelligent body sends it off into store as fat. Okay, third thing, and this one's really surprising, is all your NutraSweets, your, your um, I don't even know, do they put saccharin in stuff anymore? Saccharin and NutraSweet, all of those, what they're doing is they're keeping your sugar burner system sluggish as well. So the first step is we go and clean this up. I personally like take the bad fats out, switch out of man-made carbs into nature's carbs. Those are really easy steps and get off all the chemicals. Okay, second thing, we learn to fast. This is my jam and this is why I love fasting is I can take any human body, I can teach it to fast and it will repair. I don't know anything else, any other modality in the world that can do that and it's free. So you're on my channel, 
Hopefully you're learning to fast, but start fasting, start varying your fasting lengths um, and just get into that habit of compressing your eating window. So you're only eating food within a certain period of time and elongating your fast. I have a lot on this channel to teach you about that. Okay, third thing, and these are done in steps, by the way, I should probably say this is step one, this is step two, this is step three. Once you've got a rhythm with a 13 to 15 hour fast, now you want to practice feast, famine, cycling. So this is how the human body was made. We were made to go through periods where we don't eat, and then we're made to go through periods where we eat. This is how we prime our metabolism. So what you want to do is you want to be able to learn how to switch in and out of feast, famine, cycling. Okay, I got to interrupt this video because I have a free guide for you so you can master fasting. It's called a beginner's guide to a fasting lifestyle. And all you've got to do is click here and you can jump right in. Again, I've got a lot of videos on that. I also have what I call, and I've been using this in my academy. I'm offering it to you guys right now for free. It's a giveaway. It's a metabolic switching chart. So all you've got to do is put metabolic chart in the comments and my team will send you a link for that free chart. And I literally map out everything you should do to be a good sugar burner, everything you should do to be a good fat burner. And then I map out the, the fourth principle, which is identifying metabolic markers. I know a lot of you here, you leave your comments. My team and I look at them, we discuss them. So thank you for leaving your comments. And what we see is that a lot of you are doing these three steps. You're like, I'm, I'm took the food out. I've learned to fast. I'm feast, fam, and cycling, and I'm still not losing weight. Then you want to know what those metabolic markers are. And that's what this chart can do. I mapped it all out. So it's very clear and you can use it like a checklist. Look at it. And when you get that chart, the, you know, print it out and check off. I'm doing that. I'm doing that. I'm doing that. And then look at the things that you're not doing and start to implement it. I also have a whole section in the chart where I show you how to be a good fat burner, including exercises that work. It's not complicated. You just have to find your path. And when we start to understand that it's not just food that controls our metabolism, it's also knowing how to be a good fat burner and it's knowing how to switch in and out. Now we've nailed metabolism. So as always, I hope that helps. Please put in the comments, if you've been using these principles, please put in there wh which one's working, what was your aha, because with these metabolic blockers, a lot of people, this is where the root cause really comes in. Some of you might need to open up your liver. Some of you might need to do more dry brushing. Some of you might need to detox. That's what you'll see on this chart. So put in the comments if you've undone a metabolic blocker and you've identified it and it helped you drop weight, let us all know what it is. I know you're struggling to lose weight. It may be your fasting length. So in this video, I'm gonna show you the perfect fasting length to unstick weight loss. In fact, it's such an incredible tool for weight loss. I think you should start with fasting before you change your food to be able to get into that door in for losing weight.